anyway, we still find somewhere to kind of like. It's just a pond little reservoir pond. or pond or I don't know what it is, but we found a little location and we're gonna be quick. It's almost nightfall, so we're gonna be quick tonight because we've spoken a lot. I think we've almost covered almost everything on PCOS. PCOS. Oh, by the way, I'm kind of going ahead of myself. Welcome to Empowerment Talk Show with me, your host Latoya, and my co-host Camille. Camille. Hello, Hello. everybody again. Well, thanks for the those that are joining us from around the world, especially our Jamaican family. I see you guys are tuning in every single day. Like the last show, everyone is like really watching. <laughs> all right, so shout outs to all our Jamaican posse yes. that has been supporting us. Uh, so we're going to continue the conversation. This is our last Monday on PCOS. And then August, we dive into another topic. Okay. All right. So PCOS, the continuation, what it is, we talked about that. We talked about the different diet we're supposed to have and be eating. And we talked about self-care. So today we're going to wrap it all up. So continue to shoot your questions. Last week, a question came in and um, she was asking, are we supposed to not eat pork? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's go back over that part. So, all these, so this is the reason why uh, we were saying no other meat other than fish. All right, if you feel like you must have meat or poultry, whatever, meat, fish, okay? And the reason why we say that is with the other animals, so the pork, the chicken, the goat, you know, less so much of the goat, um, they're all being fed all these processed chemicals yes it's not even considered food is really these processed chemicals mm -hmm. and so what happened is when we do intake um, those type of meat especially the bone as what Camille said last week is that you're 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 taking in all those all of those substances that they've injected in the animal for one and for all those substances that you know the the animals have, have already intake and we're putting that into our body body so when we put that into our body what it does is it it causes mucus and buildup and that's why a lot of females as we said before a lot of females are having these issues because these hormones in those meats are throwing off the hormones in our body i don't know a, a lot of female is not even aware and i didn't notice until i moved here that a lot of females aren't aware that of the simple 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 simplest of things can throw off your pH balance mm -hmm. and it throws off your hormones so for example um, if you buy like say a very cheap tissue yes. right and you go to the bathroom and you use it that can throw off your pH balance you know that um, you use a, a type of soap you know we not all of us can use the same product on our skin and it and it will be okay so maybe you can use shea butter and i can use turmeric but you are allergic to, to, to turmeric and i am allergic to shea butter so you have to listen to your body and I, your body does not want any other meat as far as pcos um goes your body does not want as a matter of fact if you can just do no meat that would be awesome your body does not want it so what i'm finding is that excuse me my voice is sore i'm sorry what i'm finding is that with pcos um, when you eat red meat according to science it stays in your body for approximately at least 60 to 90 days before it really flushes, it really out. flushes out and once that begins to happen the hormones from the meat is inside and that causes pain during your menstrual cycle and causes the swelling and the building and the loading, diseases, the, diseases. the disorders that is yeah. that is that is that is you know and also so you know the the if you must have me one of the recommended me and aren't really recommended but they don't want you to have me but if you should have me they feel like you can never ever do without me they say go and the reason why they say goat is because, because they haven't it's, it's, it's supposed to be grass-fed for most part okay real grass-fed 
so they recommend goat um, if you're living in Jamaica you can eat goat meat <laughs> they recommend goat but at the same time let's if you can I would say if you can afford to opt for seafood and or opt for vegetables not again. to everything is is balanced in life. exactly and so during your self-care process it is very very important to balance your diet with your mind and your body remember last week we did say that like going to the river is very important going to the ocean go for a salt bath i'm gonna go for one hannah shout out to you for prompting me on that it's a good move you know go do things that are going to uplift your spirit and give you strength while you are caring for yourself during your transition it's not overnight we're not saying to do it overnight we are saying gradually take your time and yeah. self develop develop in your mind again develop in your diet and develop in your body and diet is not i'm not saying kill yourself i'm saying to eat with wisdom i'm saying avoid red meat yeah i'm saying avoid sugar i'm saying avoid candy bars hey i'm not telling you what i'm not trying to avoid for myself avoid dairy That's dairy a, is a no no it's the biggest one avoid dairy dairy is a no no because dairy triggers the pcos that acts out so and try it, substituting it with almond milk it, it is the biggest trigger for mucus the, the mucus builds up in the body and again most of our disorders and diseases is, diseases are as a result of mucus in our body in different places so for polycystic ovarian syndrome it's in the cyst it's in the follicles that's where the mucus are lie so you need something like like a something like a muco, mucus buster that will help to eliminate the body and again remember what i said last week you need to have a cleanse you need to do a cleanse and something that is going to flush you out but not flush out the entire the good bacteria that out of the system okay and that's something that's going to kill you every time I've, I've used some of these um products that said it gives you a flush but then you just feel so empty and dry yeah. and drained when you're done it's because it's just taking up more than what it's supposed to out of what i body. do like i said to everyone even though I detox with Ayesha tea or Argon tea, use an enzyme to build your body back up. So you could get the neutral birth or you can also use turmeric, some enzyme to build the body back. Zinc is pretty good. Zinc is good because those things will not only put you in the position to be healthier, but they'll also put you in the position to be more mentally alert. Because when you're in pain, you cannot focus. No. You are really, really disassociated from everything that concerns life and health. So it's very important that we take care of our body. So another question, we answered the question on the fourth. Another question came in and she said, so how do I handle PCOS in a relationship? <laughs> okay. Okay, so as uh, Sandra said, we're low. I guess we need to get a little closer if we're low. And my voice is sore. I'm sorry, so I can't talk now. I'm sorry, guys. All right, hopefully this is better. Let me know, Sandra, if if this is any better. I will try to speak louder. We're kind of in the open with the highway right behind the camera right here. So and I didn't plug up the microphone. So, so yeah. the question is, how do you handle? PCOS along with in your along in your relationship. relationship. Okay. For me, mm -hmm. I as I mean I've shared this publicly with that I too suffer from PCOS. So I am not afraid to say that listen, I have PCOS. I get irregular periods. You know, and this is a situation I'm trying to correct it. I find that when you have a supportive partner, it really helps. And then not just just mental support, you know. It's just that person that's kind of that that if you're if you're if he or she or her she, yeah, is. <laughs> I heard that she in the spiritual. That, that your your partner 
supposed to can pull you back on track so if they see you're going for ice cream how about go for vegan ice cream you know almond milk ice cream that exists but go to aldi's for who's in america um go for vegan ice cream now if they don't do the certain type of meat you need a supportive partner not only that there are so many groups out there there's so many groups that is for women you know with pcos that is trying to maintain the bond and again they can maintain in relationships so you can also join a supportive group because i find that when you talk and you find that there are other people that is go through the same thing as you are then and only then that you kind of feel a little bit relieved in yourself but, but what if but we're talking about the person that you're going to bed with every night okay we're talking about the person that you have to wake up and see every day we're talking about this person that is in your face 24 All right, hours let's, let's, how do you live with this man if you're a female or whatever is going on <laughs> how do you live with this person right in a relationship knowing that you're suffering from this syndrome again how do you tell the person what for me i just say it <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how, how else i don't know, do i draw you a road map or something i just say it. i say it you know it, it i just say it. it's I, I put it out here this is what it is it is not it's not anything i called on myself is not anything because i ate bad it's just something it's just how the body works it's how the body got built up and because again in jamaica we weren't taught about these things ahead of time so we know how to make sure that our girls are drinking the type of teas so if you're going to have a partner that is not because pcos comes with a lot of stuff it comes with weight gain obesity, it comes with obesity stress. it mm -hmm. comes with stress it comes with acne it period. comes with pain for some people so there's so many different things that it comes with your partner you just have to talk to your partner and if you cannot have a understanding partner that Come can motivate you no, sorry. <laughs> that can motivate you on this then now seriously you just gotta just get out of that because that la, is la, adding la, 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 la. more stress to your stress of but, having peace but also already. Too, you want to think about it like this uh -huh. if you cannot conversate because what i'm learning is people communicate but they don't conversate in relationship no how about this people communicate <laughs> but they don't listen <laughs> <laughs> you know, you and I can't keep going back and forth all day. But if I am not listening, listening to you because yes. I'm trying to get my point out to you, then it doesn't make any sense. We don't, uh, we don't communicate. If we're communicating, you need to communicate to, to listen so and so that you can understand. understand. Because it's called conversation. Mm -hmm. And while we are conversing, right, you have to also have this open and this functioning to calculate what the person is saying and so the the the, the, the female inboxed me and she said onish how do i live with this and say it to my partner because evidently she's afraid of saying oh i have this so my response to her was just sit down get a glass of wine Listen to the minister telling the people to get glasses of wine. Don't judge Listen, me. Listen, not too much. Wine causes inflammation. A little bit of <laughs> wine. Red preferably. wine. Whatever wine is your preference. Don't judge me. So sit down and converse about it. Educate the next person as to what it is. Because if you're talking to me and I don't know what you're talking about, it's like you're talking Spanish and I know Espanol. And I must agree with you. You need to educate them on what it is too because you, you just can't say I have PCOS. They don't know what PCOS what is. What is it? What is it? It is polycystic ovarian syndrome. Uh -huh. syndrome. These are my symptoms. It is a disorder. It is not a disease. It's a disorder. It's a syndrome. <laughs> okay. And it has many phases and it affects a lot of women in our society give them the education that they need in the relationship right so that your relationship can work yes. now that is the point now th there is your is your point now to say okay if you're in a marriage this is where better or for worse is being tested yes if you're in a relationship this is where love oh i love you i love you i love you i love you is being tested because if you cannot suffer with me in the bad times, how are you going to suffer with me in the good times? And then don't forget that PCOS causes infertility a lot of times. 
So you have to allow your partner to understand that, that this is something, this is one of the phases that you may have to go through. And partner, are you ready to take the step with me? To take yeah. the step with me? Because a lot of times we are in relationships, Katoya, and the partner will say, oh, I love you. And the minute something goes wrong, that person, oh, no. They how start about, doing different no, things. No, no, no. How about they know you're not supposed to be doing certain things? Like, for example, you're supposed to be exercising at least three times per week. Uh -huh. But every time you go to exercise, they're telling you, why are you exercising? You look great. You No. Continue. Let me see. Silent said, have to explain your symptoms. Being open is the only way. And that is true, Silent. Being open is the only way that this is something and it affects a lot of women. So there is, should be absolutely no shame about it. And again, I know last week we said our society is why, you yes. know, a lot of women aren't able to talk about it or chooses not to talk about it because of what they have. You know, Their it, opinion. It, it's on opinion. What, it should, what like, they should be. You know, if you're not, if you're not, Having a child, then you know you're less than a woman. Nah, Lady it's not right now. having a child don't make me any less than a woman. <laughs> Cause I have so much love to give. Set the stage. To so much unwanted kin. Okay, they so all I want about me try and ruin my reputation. Okay. <laughs> I don't own the rights to that music. <laughs> so women empower yourself. And empower your partner educate them on what it is and then once you do that they will respect you more uh -huh. and they too will have a better understanding and they'll communicate better they'll say okay so this is why you don't want to have sex all the time because, because for some women it's painful it's, ah, it's painful for some women very painful on our podcast I had a conversation with Mio and she shared um, on endometriosis. And we posted it out on social media and someone said, we don't have enough faith in God, that's why we're not healed. Now, my question is to you people, out of the how many, the 18% of women that suffer from PCOS, okay? And the 22% of women that suffer from endometriosis, you're telling me all these people don't have faith. A lot of, and this is my thing too, is a lot of people just think the faith alone works. The faith alone doesn't work. You can't do, you can't be having the faith and not no, doing the preaching, job. Preaching. No, seriously, Action. you can't be having the faith without doing the job. Because if I'm going to say, okay, I want to get better for PCOS, but I'm not doing anything. I'm still yes. eating the meat. I, the, the different types of meat that I'm not supposed to be eating. I'm consuming I'm still dairy. using the same I'm, sanitary the, the products. Same, the same sanitary products. You know, I'm not switching out my lifestyle in any way, shape, or form. You're still going to have it. So all this, you're going to have faith from no to Mars. You know, <laughs> it is never going to change. It's not going to change by you just praying about it. You have to take action. You have to take action. Faith without to... works is dead. Exactly. You see, if you look behind us, the pond is still. It's not running. It's not moving. And sometimes that's how our faith is. Just, just like that. Stagnant, right just there. stagnant. Yeah. And because it's stagnant, we just have moss. It's, it's just gather moss. <laughs> relationships it goes for every Everything, area of yeah. our lives so tonight we just want to encourage you guys it's 8 28 we just want to encourage women around the world don't be afraid to share your story don't be afraid to share your truth don't be afraid to stand in your truth look at jada pitkins ah, she wasn't afraid of telling me she said oh i had entanglement <laughs> She opened up and she let it out. She's free. She is free. But the world, <laughs> we is still hung up over we entanglement. We are hung up over entanglement. Can you imagine? <laughs> and the woman is free. That is the problem with society. Accept your truth. Walk in your truth. Live and know, in it. Live in it. And la, 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 no la. One, so no one can ever, ever come to me and say, oh, you have PCOS. And <laughs> your point? What are you saying? Yes. I got it. I said it. Yeah. 
I'm free. nothing. I'm free to do and be me. It's 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 really it's again it's a it's a disorder that affects millions of women, millions of women, and for Caribbean women, you know, we live on me. So it affects a lot of us, and we are now being educated about it. And I'm glad that we did this entire month yes. of July just educating females around the world and not just females because men are learning too just educating everybody around the world so if you should ever get in and encounter with anyone that has this disorder you know give them some love and show them some love because it goes a far away and again supportive partners partners support your partners with PCOS mothers if you find out that your daughters are suffering from PCOS do not wait last minute it's Bring them to see a GYN. If you see they're having irregular periods, yes. if you see they're sleeping a lot, if they're having fatigue, Excessive don't waiting. wait. Because the moment that you wait is the moment that you can save their lives from the pain of tomorrow. Because once you get into your 30s, your 40s, based on what scientists are saying, you start having heart problems, it's like what I was reading. It's like the mother, the sister of the um, type two diabetes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and for everybody that knows, type two diabetes can cause you to lose your leg. It can cause you to pee yourself. It it is it is serious. You can pass so, out at any time. Exactly, mothers. Yeah. I'm encouraging you. Check your girls. Check them. Aunties. You know, cousins. Check your cousins. You know, ask them about their periods because why? We do not want to see the next generation suffer the way how we, we did. Yeah, because we weren't educated about it. So we have a question here. How can we encourage someone who aren't seeing results quickly? I would say for one, reach out to a specialist. Preferably to me, for and this is my personal opinion, preferably a herbalist. Someone that can give you the natural remedies. If you don't mind taking pills, if you're in Jamaica, you can reach out to Dr. Astrid. Um, again, thank you, Dr. Astrid, for coming on our live and sharing what is PCOS. Dr. Astrid Bachelor, she is in Kingston. Yes. So you can reach out to her as well, and um, she's tagged in our. I think it's our you second on second our, post on our Instagram. website. Yeah. yeah. So can you can find her. But for me personally, I push the herbal way. So I would say reach out to a herbalist. I remember asking um, the person that I speak to um, to say, hey, I kind of feel like I've kind of plateaued. What can I do differently? And she recommended, you know, starting with another cleanse because you do the cleanse for so long. You can't do the cleanse every day continuously. You do the cleanse for so long. So she recommends starting with another cleanse. And so the cleanse is kind of like that kickstart you need again. And again, you yourself have to be motivated. And not because I see a lot of results today and you're not seeing it today. It's just, it, our bodies are different. Our bodies are different. Um, you know, I've heard stories where, where people, PCOS has turned around within a month. Some will take a year, some will take two. But just be encouraged and keep going. Keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. I would say to the person that is looking for encouragement, one of the main things that you must do is be consistent. Sense. Yes. When you start the process, whatever choice you make, whether it's going to see a herbalist or going to God in prayer or going to see a doctor, be consistent, consistent yes. because one of the areas that affects people who have PCOS is depression. You have to know your body and know when that depression is coming so you can kick it out the door yes, and be and get up and say, okay, you know what, Latoya, I don't feel like talking today. That's what I did today. I called my sister and I said, hey, I need to talk. She said, what do you want? And I told her what was going on because today, you know, it was a rough day. But in despite that, I had to recognize that I was feeling that. So recognition of the pain is important. And if you don't see the pain and someone else see it and point it out to you, don't take offense to it. Can PCOS be Yes. yes.
anything can be. can be cured it can be again for me go to her by way it can be cured but i again you need to understand mm -hmm. i might be cured today you might be cured tomorrow you can't judge yourself off of someone else's progress when it comes down to pcos because not all of us experience the same sin syndrome or mm -hmm. yeah syndrome <laughs> Syndrome. Not all symptoms. of us experience the same symptoms. symptoms. Yeah. So because Latoya might have um, PCOS severe, and I may have PCOS mild, and it all depends on our body mechanism. So for me, what I am reading and learning is that PCOS can be cured, but if you are not consistent, if the doctor gives you medication for migraine and you do not consistently take it. That migraine goes and comes. It goes and comes. And so that's what PCOS is going to do. If you're not consistent every day on your regime, exercising, eating well, changing the way how you do things, changing the type of thing that you use on your skin, if you're not doing that, then it's, it's not going to change. So you have to be consistent. So it can be cured. So thank you, Benita Angel. Hi, Nisha. So thank you, Nisha. Um, so it can be cured. It can be cured. It just have to be consistent. So last week, well, we need to kind of wrap up because it's yes. getting dark and we're outside yes. and mosquitoes are feeling <laughs> yes. So again, you can reach out. I recommend the Cosmic Womb Woman on Instagram and Wisdom of Wisdom of the Womb. There's those are two herbal um, with um, people that you can reach out to on Instagram. And there's another one. It's called Fertilade it's fertility and it's all herbs um so it's fertility it's not i don't want to say medic medication because it's not medication it's a fertility herb it's it comes in a pill form and it also helps um on there you can um, also go to cvs for those that live in connecticut yeah cvs and get them, a, yeah. a bottle of fertile aid it does help it's yeah. all herbs or go to whole foods and pick it up but what i'm going to ask everyone to do for those who have been inboxing me secretly, I'm going to ask you to write down your symptoms on a piece of paper that you're feeling every day. And then Latoya and I will work on getting you connections with the different herbalists on Instagram. Because I notice sometimes we say things on here, but then when people rewatch it, they don't watch everything. They just browse through it. So thank you so much, everybody. Write your symptoms down and then let's create solutions to those symptoms so you can feel better. Yeah, let's just hold start. Just let's start a movement all together as women who are suffering from endometriosis and polycystic ovarian syndrome. Let's just start this um, as as and know that you have a supportive community. So we're gonna start it as a community. So yeah. you can reach out to me at any time. Any any time I can tell you what my symptoms are. Um, I can share and again I'm always sharing information when I get it, so I am open to that. So people around the world, thank you so much for tuning in to Empowerment Talk Show. You can stop by www.ebbreakfastclub.com for more information. You guys have a wonderful night. Bye, guys. Good night. Love y'all.